Arrête de tout ça. We come to the title track of the album. And if anybody ever heard the original, you'll know that it contains um, a political parody of an elderly, out of touch, fuddy duddy with uh, old fashioned political views bemoaning the state of the country he finds himself in and trying to turn the clock back. Today, at age 68, that fuddy duddy <laughs> is me. <laughs> Power in the darkness. Institutions fundamental to the British way of life are under attack. Our schools and universities, public transport, old age pensions, social services, legal aid, even our magnificent health services no longer safe from those who would undermine everything decent and humane in our society. And it's about time we said enough is enough and saw a return to the traditional British values of tolerance, generosity, democracy, standing up for the underdog, for the weak, for the oppressed and universal human dignity and freedom. Not the freedom for the City of London to print money to pay themselves obscene bonuses while the rest of us pay for it with austerity. Yes! Not the freedom to shout racist abuse at British citizens from the windows of passing cars. Yes! And not the freedom to drive our children's economic future off the edge of a cliff in the name of narrow ideology. Yes. Because make no mistake about it, when the Daily Mail and the Sun and the Daily Express have the goal to call themselves champions of freedom, what they mean is... 
freedom. Freedom from the unemployed, freedom from the destitute, freedom to treat people like scum. Freedom from honesty, freedom from integrity, freedom to look after number one. Freedom from the Europeans, freedom from immigrants, freedom from alternative views. They want freedom from the needs of ordinary people. Too old for this kind of malarkey. <laughs> Can we just take it as read that we've all left the stage and come back on again? Yes. <laughs> yeah.